how economic machine works. It works with a few simple transactions that are repeated over and over zillion times. There are three forces that drive economy. 1. Long term productivity growth. 2. Long term tech cycle. 3. Short term tech cycle. We will look at these three forces and link them on top of each other. Let's start from basics. Transactions. It is a building block of economy. Every time you buy something, you make a transaction. The economy is sum of transactions that make it up. Where buyer exchanging money or credit and seller exchanging goods, services or financial assets. Credit is just like money. So adding together money spent plus credit spent, we get total spending. The total amount of spending drives economy. Total spending over total quantity is price. People, businesses, banks and government all engage in transactions. The biggest buyer and seller is government. And we have central bank which is different from all buyers and sellers because it controls amount of money and credit in economy. It does this by influencing interest rates and printing new money. For these reasons, the central bank is important player in the flow of credit. Credit, it is the most important part of economy and least understood. Credit helps both lenders and borrowers wherein lender wants their money to grow into more money and borrower wants to buy something. When interest rates are low, borrowings are more because it's cheaper. When interest rates are high, borrowings are less because it's expensive. Increased income allows increased borrowing, which allows increased spending. So we have cycles. In a short run, debt allows us to consume more than we produce when we acquire it and forces us to consume less than we produce when we have to pay it back. People borrow from their future, so they'll spend less in the future when they have to pay it back. Thus, it creates swings. Swings are based on credit. An economy without credit, the only way to increase your spending is to produce more. But an economy with credit, you can increase your spending by borrowing. Always remember, one person's spending is other person's income. By following transactions, we can see how this process works. Because we borrow, we have cycles. When cycle goes up, it should always comes down. When amount of spending rises faster than the goods produced, it's inflation. Central bank doesn't want too much inflation. So central bank will raise interest rate to cut down inflation. If the economic activity slows down, it's deflation. If it lasts too long, it's recession. Then, central bank will lower the interest rate to accommodate it. Hence, central bank controls the money and credit flow in economy, which is also known as short-term debt cycle, which usually lasts for 5 to 8 years. Over the long period of time, debt rises faster than the income, but income is favorably good. It's a boom. When income rises, asset values are going up and stock value rises. Debt with the ratio of income, we can call it as debt burden. When debt is unmanageable with the income, people cut down spending. Don't forget, one person's spending is other person's income. 
also economy slows down it's still leveraging where economy will go through less spending less income less wealth and less borrowing it is similar to recession but here lowering interest rate doesn't work because it is already low and soon hit 0% there are four ways to come out of the leveraging one cut down spending two reduce debt three redistribute wealth four print money most of what people thought the money was actually credit so when credit disappears people don't have enough money here people will discover that what they thought the wealth isn't really there when everyone in economy is in default it's depression here the central bank already reduced its interest rate to 0% it is forced to print money to buy financial assets from government and lends money to government when everything getting normal we call it as reflation in a nutshell every economy will go through these three phases namely boom bust and growth inspired by ramon delio created by gautam please share and subscribe our channel